This season with one word will be why. With a question mark? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I guess a, as you as you ponder that question, as you you know look at how the season ended for you guys, um, what what are some answers that you've kind of come to? Of what what you can improve upon so that an ending like this doesn't happen again next year for you guys? Yeah, for me. You know, everybody said that we had like a first good part of the season and then like not good one. For me, it's just a season in overall. So, of course, we, we we could do better. I mean, the target everyone that wants to achieve here is like to be in the top of the table. So we start from here. We are not top of the table, so we need to improve things so we can be there, first of all. Then uh, And then we need to be able to to fight for all the competitions and the cups that we play for, something that didn't happen because we was early out for both cups. So for sure we need to find out the way to go further on the first round and to go why not all the way so we can we can be there to fight for, for a title. Then the last thing and the most important is when you go to the playoffs, you need to win. You play home, you play away, it doesn't matter, you need to get the win. Is a PK, is extra time, is 90 minutes, is one minute, you need to win. We didn't win, we, we are out. So, for sure we did something wrong. And we need to figure out what it is uh, as a team, as individuals, as, as players, as everyone. We need to look in the mirror first and see what happened. And come back the next season and for sure we do better in all the things that I said. Does that feeling, does it, is, do you think that feeling is kind of what's going to drive you over the next 100 days or so when competition resumes? I mean, to be honest, that's a lot of feelings. Like, you think back of the season and you remember a couple of things, a couple of moments, you're happy and you feel that everything is okay and then you think for other moments and you said you're angry and then you're sad and then, you know, all of these emotions coming together to the point that I'm free to go home. I don't want to go home. I wanted to have another game. I wanted to have another round. I mean, we all said that we need to go back on December and I'm going home early November. So for sure I and we didn't do something good. Of course, this is not, you know, it don't, it don't bring the season back to zero like we did nothing or we are bad team or you're bad players or I don't know. Yeah, we had a good season. We break, we break a couple of records. But we go home with zero trophies, so that's why we play. We don't play for the records, we play for the trophies. We have a lot of good things to build in. And I mean, we just keep the good things. We, we see, we're going to see what, what we did wrong and we're going to build. We're going to build our team better, stronger to handle the situation that we was not able to handle this season. And hopefully next season at this date we will be not here and discuss with you guys it, it starts a little earlier because of champions cup i think they call it now they've yeah. renamed it like three times in the last couple of years uh but you've been a part of continental championships before what's kind of the the extra as a player like what what does that feel like another level of competition when you go into to just more than just league play you're talking about continental play and yeah, of course, it's a, it's a big achievement for the team after a lot of years. Um, but in the end of the day, it's, another, it's one more competition. It's one more trophy in the end of the road. It's, it's a football game, so you're gonna, you have to win again. So, I mean, in the end of the day, to think which competition we play, it brings, you know, it brings more, more anxious to the player and you don't want this. In the end of the day, it's a game. You play the game. It doesn't matter the competition. You win. You go all the way. You raise a trophy. So you don't have you don't have to think like which competition you play. You need, you need to play all the games as a final, let's say, because you need to win. If you don't win, you go home. It's, it's very easy. So yeah, starting as you said a little bit earlier with the uh, Champions Cup, if I said it right. Um, I mean, is 
it's one more competition that we have to show to ourselves and to everybody that we learn from our mistakes and coming back better and go all the way in this competition. Thanks, Alex. Hey, Alex, um, thank you for your time today. Of course. Uh, obviously, it's a, a different league than you're used to playing. It's your first year with RSL. Um, Zach was just talking to us about kind of the long season and how he felt like it was a, a pretty long season despite it being short. Um, for you, did you feel your position, you, you had kind of solidified your starting spot there. Did you feel it kind of wore you down at times, the long season? Yeah, for me, it's a long season coming from Europe with no break, but maybe I feel it. I, maybe I feel it's a, bit, it's a long season, but as you said, it's short. <laughs> I will say again, it's November if we go home. So it's short. Um, the only good thing is that we're going to have a big break. Everybody's going to think from, for a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know, the only thing we can do, we need, I said, everybody individual till we come and see everybody together again and see how the, the team will be to work, bring yourself in the 100%. And hopefully the next season will be long. I can tell you're very disappointed over the, or with the overall output or results of this season. How confident are you in this current roster to be able to win a trophy next year? Confident with my, for my teammates. I mean, you're confident for your family. Yeah, you are. I'm confident for my parents. I'm confident for my brother. So I'm confident for my brothers here. So I'm confident 100% that we, we will be back and we will be stronger and better as a team. But, uh, yeah, I mean... I mean, I'm disappointed in, in the point that, you know, we won't, we, we are not happy like, yeah, we are happy, but we're not happy with the third position. We are happy that we went to the playoffs, but we're not happy because we go home. So, I mean, as I said, it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot of good things there, 100%. So we just stick with them, build with them, improve the other things. And yeah. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it. Of course. As after the team being eliminated last Saturday, what was the first thing that Pablo told to the team just to don't make you feel like sad or that the team failure? I mean, I don't get the season as a failure. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, but you cannot say you cannot say anything to don't feel sad because it is it is what it is. You feel that you cannot change that, but. The coach steps in. He he, he said how proud he's um, he's for the team. He's for us. How proud he's and happy to to work with us. And and as I said, like we we are, I can't be I can't be more happy. And I can't, I couldn't ask for for uh, for other teammates or other people surround this club. So so yeah we feel we feel sad we feel happy as i said we feel maybe disappointed but um it's a long off season everybody will go back to their you know their families a little bit you don't think a lot of a lot of for for football and you know you clear your mind and uh, then you come back ready at the beginning of the season you also play as a starter but around the six, 60 minutes you've been substituted that happen because of physical things or uh, technical decisions? Do you want to be a starter who plays the 90 minutes for the next season? I mean, everybody wants to play 90 minutes. Uh, but you know, everybody has their role in the team. Um, and at the end of the day, it's decision of the coach if you're going to start, if you're going to play 90, 95, 60, it doesn't matter. Uh, every game is, is uh, you know, is a different mission. You don't play with the same opponents. Uh, every every game asks different things, so that's why we are like uh, 25, 30 players here. You know, with different different characteristics. Everybody, um, and our job is you know to be to be 100 percent and to be to be able to step for 90 or one minute there and give everything for the team. And as I said, we are we are happy with the uh, with the coach decisions, and we're gonna take and we're gonna respect. Are you excited to have two months off? No. No? No. Because I don't think many people realize that you came here straight from your season and you've not had much of a break in 18 months. 
I mean, that's my job. Um, if I have to play, you have to play. If you have one more day or one more year, you just play. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I will go back and see my family and my friends because I have to see them like a couple of months now, <laughs> more than a year. But, but in the end of the day, I would like, I would like to raise trophy with this guy in the corner there and then go back home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.